What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we've got our gluttony build. And I just thought this outfit was so fitting for the clown. So, for gluttony, we've got barbecue and chili, because food. So after we hook a survivor, all of their survivor's auras are revealed to us for five seconds when they are further than 40 meters from the hook. Then we've got Hex Devour Hope, because devour. When someone is rescued and we're 24 meters away, we get a token. At two tokens, we get 5% haste after hooking. Three tokens, everyone's exposed. Five tokens grants the ability to kill survivors by one hand, so we get more haste. I don't picture this lasting long because people always seem to find this one. Play with your food because food. So with our obsession, every time we chase them and let them escape, we get a token. We get a max of three tokens. Each token gives us 5% increased movement speed until we attack, which loses a token. Then we've got Sloppy Butcher because of Butcher. Food. Come on. When we hit someone, they get hemorrhage and mangled for 90 seconds. And that increases the rate at which healing progression is lost from hemorrhage. Uh, it also makes it so it takes longer to heal. We've got a Survivor Pudding because Pudding. We've got a cheap gin bottle because alcohol and gluttony kind of go hand in hand. And then a cigar box because that also... Smoking kind of also goes in that same vein. Uh, gin bottle increases invigoration by 3%. Cigar box makes it so when we are invigorated, um, or survivors invigorated, we see each other's auras within 16, 16 meters. So should be good, I think. I think this one pretty pretty well for gluttony. I can't seem to talk this episode, so we're just going to hop in. Uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Hey, I'm okay with like a light colored map. All right, let's try this out. I just don't want to have to worry about that one. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, no. Don't walk, don't walk in that. It's dangerous. Interesting. That's just rude. Come on, man. They're on so many gens right now. You blind me again? Awesome. Let's just get you down. I don't super want to get flashlighted, which is what's going to happen. You're behind me. Man, they're just all over the place. Awesome. We're going to get down to two gens by the time I got my first time. It's how ridiculous this game has gotten. It's just, <laughs> it's just not fun. It's not fun anymore. And which makes me sad because I really do like this game, but it's just, there's nothing I can do. Silly. Stairs. Roof. 
Son of a bitch. I look that's screwed every which way I go. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for let, letting me hit you. I'm f anyways, dude. Like, look at look at how the f do I get around this? Like, they're just so f fast. I can't be in ten places at fucking once, dude. And I know that's what the game apparently wants me to do. I just can't. Like, uh, f me, dude, really? <laughs> I'm f anyway, so it really doesn't. This game is still fun. My third hook. Took me that long. They've done four gens. That's how it took me to get three hooks. Such bullshit. Already healed. I just need to get far enough away that they can unhook her and I get my point. That one lady already saw the totem, though, so I've got to zoom over there if it's not already broken by the time I get over there. It's going to be funny if that's the one thing that saves me. Oh my gosh, they're all over there. Oh my gosh. Is Hex Devour Hope gonna be the one thing that saves this match? I mean, they can probably get themselves back up, but still. Yeah, there it is. That was good. All right, well, she's used her one unbreakable. She's probably looking for the totem. I need to probably go check that out.
you. I'm so far away from that, though. Oh, well, I'm already blinded. I don't know where they went. That was convenient. Did you forget you're exposed? I feel like you may have. And no one's on the totem. Is this... Is this bird gonna freaking save the game? Jen. Cannot wait until hooks respawn. Man, having dead zones really sucks. I think she's just gonna wait to do that, Jen. Yes, 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 yes. Why heal though? Like I don't, I don't really see the point of it. But okay. I want you dead. No! Where'd she go? Come on, don't be afraid. Damn it. Where's your friend? That wasn't it. Ah ha ha ha, gotcha.
That was good. The other chick probably has adrenaline, but I'm sure it's fine. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Adrenaline shouldn't kick in until I close the hatch. If I close the hatch, she might find it. That was her. I checked Killer Shack first. Aha! What'd I tell you? I cannot believe the perk that I said is gonna take us out first. <laughs> you saw where the totem was. It wasn't even that hidden. It was in the main room. You could have broken it. All right, well, that was our gluttony build. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I felt that the perks worked out really, really well, actually. I didn't use play with your food because I actually don't really like that perk at all because I feel like it's kind of a waste of a perk slot. Like, it's nice to catch up, but then you automatically lose your movement speed. So after you hit that person, they get a speed burst. You're slowed, and then you've lost your movement speed bonus, if that makes sense. So it just doesn't seem great. I don't know. That's just me. I cannot believe Devour Hope carried us at the end. We had four gens done. Three or four gens done by the time we had three hooks. That's how quickly that spiraled. Um, I don't necessarily take back anything that I said. Because, like, I just got lucky that they didn't break the totem. If they had, I'd have been screwed. So, I'd recommend giving this a shot. I thought it worked well. I, I've never used the cigar box before, and I didn't understand its awesomeness, because that was very helpful. So if you guys want to try this out, definitely give it a shot. If you have a build you think would work better, drop that down below. Until next time, stay spooky. Toodles!